Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to my home again. I'm very happy to talk to you today. Today we're going to be talking about our house and the different rooms in our house and what kind of things we see in our house. Can you think of the rooms that we've learned so far? What have we learned? Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, dining room. Very good. Now let's look at a few pictures and practice the words. Do you remember what this is? Door, door, window. Say it out loud, okay? You say it and then I'll say it. Sofa, lamp, armchair, remember? It's a chair with arms, armchair, clock, table, gas cooker, chair, picture, fridge or refrigerator, but you can just say fridge. Wardrobe, bed, toilet, wash basin or sink. Wash basin, it's British English. Sink, American English. And bathtub, bathtub, cabinet, cabinet bookshelf, bookshelf, and back to door again. Okay, when we open the door of our house, we walk in, right? And there's also windows. What room is the sofa in? The sofa is in the living room. Say it together, the sofa is in the living room. Very good. Where is the lamp? The lamp is in the bedroom, or maybe the living room too. Where is the armchair? The armchair is in the living room. The clock, where is the clock? The clock is in the bedroom, or maybe the living room. Where is the table? The table is in the kitchen. And the gas cooker, the gas cooker is in the kitchen. The chair, chair is in the kitchen. A picture, hey, the picture is in the bedroom or the living room. The fridge, it's in the kitchen, yes. Where is the wardrobe? The wardrobe is in the bedroom and the bed. The bed is in the bedroom, the toilet. The toilet is in the bathroom. And the wash basin is in the bathroom. And the bathtub is in the bathroom. Cabinets, cabinets are in the kitchen. And the bookshelf is in the living room or the bedroom. So, I am sitting on a sofa in my living room. Let's look around my room and see what there is. We say, there is a sofa, or we could say there are two sofas, okay? The plural is there are two or three or more, or there is a sofa. There is a sofa in my living room, okay? Look over here. I have a small sofa and a big sofa. So I can say there are two sofas in my living room. There is a little table in my living room. We call this a coffee table because you can put your coffee on the table. There is a coffee table in my living room. There is a piano in my living room. I like to play the piano. There is a piano in my living room. 
Do you see these? Stairs. Stairs. There are stairs in my living room. These stairs go upstairs. If we go upstairs, then we would see the bedrooms. So, stairs. There are stairs in my living room. Let's look over here. There are pictures in my living room. There are pictures in my living room. There is a bookshelf in my living room. There are books. There are many books in my living room because I like to read. There is a TV in my living room. There is a TV in my living room. There is a window. Here is a window. Hmm, only one window. One, two, three. So I must say there are windows in my living room. There are three windows in my living room. This, this isn't a bookshelf. It isn't a table. Do you remember the word? Cabinet, cabinet. There is a cabinet in my living room. A cabinet. What's this? A clock. There is a clock on my cabinet. There is a clock on the cabinet. There are plants in my living room. Plants. There are many plants in my living room. This plant has two flowers, so I can say there is a flower in my living room. A flower. There is a table in my living room. I haven't got a dining room, so my dining room and my living room are together. There is a table and there are chairs in my living room. In just a minute, I'm going to read you a story called Goodnight Moon about a little bunny's bedroom. Let's see what's in his room. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon and there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. night room. Good night moon. Good night cow jumping over the moon. Good night light and the red balloon. Good night bears. Good night chairs. Good night kittens and good night mittens. Good night clocks and good night socks. Good night little house and good night mouse. Good night comb and good night brush. Good night nobody. Good night mush. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Good night stars, good night air. Good night noises everywhere. The end. Okay, let's look at one of these pictures. Okay, let's look at this picture of the room. Okay, what do you see? Let's use there is and there are. 
There is a bed. There are pictures. There are windows. There is a toy house. Can you think of some? There is a mouse. There are two kittens. There is a telephone. Telephone. What are these? Clocks. There are two clocks. There are mittens. There are socks. There is a bookshelf, and there are books on the bookshelf. There is a chair. There is a table. There is a lamp. There is a bowl of mush. There is a fire. There is a fireplace. There is a fire in the fireplace. There is a red balloon. Where is the brush? Where is the brush? The brush is on the table. Where is the mouse? The mouse is between the table and the fireplace. Where are the kittens? The kittens are on the rug. Where is the giraffe? The giraffe is on the bookshelf. Where is the old lady? She is in front of the bookshelf. She is sitting on a chair in front of the bookshelf. Where is the clock? It is next to the telephone. It is on the bedside table next to the bed. Where is the bunny rabbit? He is in the bed. Where is the balloon? It is over the bed. Where are the slippers? Under the bed. Okay, so we saw the little bunny's room. He had a very nice room. What color was his room? Green, it was a green room. What color was the balloon? A red balloon, very good. Now I want to practice two kinds of questions, okay? Two questions. Is there a table? Or we could say, is there an organ in the room, okay? Is there a table? If we have one thing we must use is and the a uh before the noun. Is there a table? Is there a table in my living room? Yes, there is, yes there is. Is there an organ in my living room? No, there isn't. There isn't an organ, there is a piano. Piano, and here is the piano. I have closed the piano so we can practice now. The next question, are there any windows? Okay, because windows is plural, more than one. I use this word here, any, any. Any goes in my question and in the negative answer, and I will talk about that in a minute. So, are there any windows? Are there any windows in my room? Yes, there are some windows. If I don't know how many, but it's more than one, I can use the word some, some. So, when I ask the question, are there any windows? I can say, yes, there are some windows. 
I can't say, yes, there are any windows. No, I have to use the word some. There are some windows. So think about my room. Are there some books? I'm sorry, are there any books in my living room? Yes, there are some books. Are there any plants in my living room? Yes, there are some plants. Or I can answer with a number if I know. I can say, yes, there are three windows, okay? If there aren't any windows, I would say, no, there aren't any windows. I don't use the word some here, I use any. There aren't any windows. Don't say there aren't some windows, there aren't any windows. Okay, so any goes with the question and with the negative. With the positive, yes, use the word some. Okay, think about the bunny's room. Do you remember the bunny's room? Are there, are there any toys in the bunny's room? Yes, there are some toys in the bunny's room. Are there any hmm, TVs in the bunny's room? No, there aren't any TVs in the bunny's room. Are there any sofas in the bunny's room? No, there aren't any sofas in the bunny's room. Okay, now, I want you to use this in your exercise book. I want you to write three questions with is, three questions with are, and write the answers about your room, okay? Think about your bedroom. I want you to write, is there a bed? Yes, there is. Is there a TV? No, there isn't, okay? Write question and answer. Three of these, okay, I'm gonna write right here. Three for is, and then I want three questions with R, okay? And then I want you to answer them. Write it down in your exercise book, take a picture, send it to me, okay? If you do a very good job, you will get a five. Okay, goodbye, we'll see you next week.